Welcome to another special edition of Robot Wars. Grab your partners for our tag team terror. Now think about it. Fluorescent socks, the Grey Twins, Richard and Judy, all proof that the nastiest things come in pairs. So we wanted to make Robot Wars more gruesome, we decided to do some mechanical matchmaking. The way tag team works is like this. Only one robot from each pair can be fighting at any one time. If they want their partner to take over, they must retreat to their coloured areas. Blue for the blue team, red for the red team. Is it me, or is it all very, very simple? But watch out, because should the fights get boring or the rules are broken, then expect the house robots to lay down the law the hard way. Let's meet our terrible twosomes. Obey the rules, all you lot. King B3 and 101 putting past differences behind them to team up against Exterminator 2 and Invertebrat. Bigger Brother and Blunderbird 4, what a team! Against Firestorm 2 and Scorpion in the pits right now with Jules. I thought we were a peaceful nation until I met these robots. Scorpion. Now, if you think that is the sting in the tail, you'd be wrong, because that travels at 140 miles an hour. Ouch. They've got two more of those, spinning at 90 miles an hour. A chainsaw nose, but we know you need to keep away from the fires. Uh, we tend to burn well. Exactly. They also haven't got a self-writer, which is the responsibility of Firestorm 2 here. Now, we've seen loads of wedges in Robot Wars, but this one always comes through. Partly because it's got 25 stones worth of flip, and also because you've got a unique driving system. Most robots have a motor per wheel, do they not? Yeah, that's right. How does yours work? We've got a power differential, where one motor powers forwards and backwards, and another two motors power left and right. So better drivability, we hope. Now, who's going in first? We are. Oh, you're confident. Oh, definitely. Why are you going in first? Well, we have the weapons, and somebody says there was going to be a war. Excellent. Right, what have you lot got that they haven't? Well, the tag the team, team tussle's going to go like this. We've got the slice. We've got the flip. We'll carve them up nice. And chuck, chuck them, them in, in the skip. skip. Oh, don't they make lovely couples? Now, our four teams will fight into initial knockout battles. The losers will then fight for third and fourth place, and then the winners will compete to be our first tag team terror champions. No, I can't promise a Robot Wars wedding, but I can promise some steamy robotic action. Hey, let the wars begin! <laughs> From Durham, Firestorm. From Nutley in East Sussex, Scorpion. Finalists in previous Robot Wars, it took three months to update. With a fire extinguisher CO2 gas power flipping arm, this the more manoeuvrable of the pair on its go-kart wheels. But Scorpion gives the pair the sting in the tail. Built at home on the dining room table, two wheelchair motors provide the power. They practice on an old tumble dryer with those chainsaw-cutting discs. We're the Firestorm team from the north. And we are the Scorpion team from the south. And we're here as a tag team to unite the country. We have chainsaws, we have cutting discs. We have speed and powerful flipping arms, which means we have all the weapons we need to win Robot Wars Tag. Yes! From Brighton, Bigger Brother. From Alton in Hampshire, Blunderbird 4. This team has the protection to withstand all weaponry, they say. A mild-mannered steel shell and fierce snip of the Watts family. Creators call this a nightmare in metal. <laughs> Speed, the essence for this team. Blunderbird 4 moves at 15 miles an hour. Aeroplane standard aluminium, as sleek as a puma. Its weapon is a slicer dicer, say the team, with typical humour. We are the Blunderbird team. And we are the Big Brother team. And we've decided to join forces. For some mutual mullering and mashing. So we're forming a team of the tagging types. Put some tag team terror. Totally. And it's going to be called the Big Plunderbird Brother Team. Roboteers, stand by. In the red zone, Firestorm 2 and Scorpion. Graham Bone, Alex Morgi on the left hand side, Jeff Smith and John Bell on the right. And in the blue zone. Bigger Brother and Plunderbird 4. The Plunderbird boys, Mike Onslow, Brian Kilburn there on the left and Ian Watson's son, Joseph, on the right. Three, two, one, activate. Dan Ian at the controls of Bigger Brother there on the right-hand side against Scorpion, first out of the red corner. Scorpion flipped immediately by Bigger Brother. 
Look at this straight away, getting in underneath Scorpion. It's got a two-inch ground clearance, that's lethal. Scorpion now flipped up and over by its teammate Firestorm, who seemed to come out of the red zone there before it should. Are they disobeying rules immediately? If you do, then the house robots will penalise you. The ref are coming in and say, get back, Firestorm, get back into your red area. The Scorpion team, meanwhile, under pressure from Plunderbird 4 and Bigger Brother, Firestorm. A little nudge underneath Scorpion. They are on the same team, actually, but... This is mayhem! This is destructibility at its worst! This is Blunderburn. They're against the Arena War in the red zone. Firestorm 2 in there as well. Look at the Blunderburn sort of claw axe on top, ready to come in. There's Bigger Brother as well flying around in there. Uh, Bash is getting in the action. Matilda 2 trying to use the tusks to get in underneath the Blunderburn 14 from all in Hampshire. That's Bigger Brother slammed against the Arena Wall. What on earth's going on here, RefBot? Get in and control these robots! There's only supposed to be two in the arena at the same time. They have to shown total disregard to the rules. You are a disgrace up there, boys. Now what's happening? Well, Firestorm 2 crashes into the red zone. I wonder if Blunderbird 4 have been rendered immobile. Are they just waiting their chance? This is Firestorm 2 on the attack. Bigger Brother spinning away. Oh, a torch for Firestorm 2. They're OK in underneath Scorpion there. Scorpion wedged up on Blunderbird 4. Gets the nudge, and Scorpion's OK. Blunderbird 4 seems to be rooted to the spot. That's Firestorm 2 getting in underneath. Classic wedge shape, two robots, and there's the flipper of Firestorm. Well, I thought it was wedged open. You're seeing there Grand Bone and Alex Mordew of the Firestorm 2 team. Students at Edinburgh University, Alex Mordew, Graham, a quality engineer, and a quality attack from Firestorm 2. Needed right there now on Scorpion. We know Scorpion is badly flammable, but at the moment, no one He's trying to push Scorpion towards the arena flames, all the flame pit. This is, of course, Firestorm 2 up on his side. It's got a remake. There you see it. Self-running mechanism is central for Robot Wars these days. Well, this is wonderful. Machinations of a Machiavellian sort. That's Graham and Alex, the Firestorm 2 team. Bigger Brother. Well, the ref got coming in and having a closer look here. Bigger Brother to side on against Firestorm 2. Scorpion now is in major trouble. Scorpion which was built, designed on Pip Bell's dining room table. She's John Bell's wife. And at the moment, it looks as if Scorpion designed on that dining room table to withstand any sort of charcoal grill is being flame-torched in the top now. This is Firestorm 2 under pressure again for Bigger Brother. I think he's done magnificently in this Tag Team Challenge so far. With Ian Watts, a broadcasting engineer, loud and proud at the controls. Absolute total mayhem. I don't think any of them followed the rules. We we'll have to go to the judges for a decision. Here they are, all experts in robotics. Martin Smith on the left, Professor Noel Shark in the middle, Dr. Myra Wilson on the right hand side. And as they contemplate, let's see what they're studying. Well, an initial attack on Scorpion. This is Fast One Two back on Blunderbird 4 for some revenge. Then Matilda giving Firestorm some punishment. They will be marking on control, style, damage and aggression. Great aggression shown throughout by Firestorm, I thought. Blunderbird 4 certainly took more damage than the other three out there. Bigger Brother was very consistent, always trying to look to create damage. So both teams have one strong robot, and in Scorpion and Blunderbird 4, both teams have one that was immobilised. Well, the judges have made the decision. And although one robot from either side was immobilised, based on style, control, damage and aggression... They've gone for Firestorm and Scorpion! Thunderstorm <laughs> came. They were given it large. But you don't talk your fight if you want to be in charge. Well, first we changed him round and round. Then we tried to take him down. <laughs> but then we had a malfunction, <laughs> and I can't think of anything else to say to that, really. Never mind. Let's talk to little Joe. We'll get more sense out of him. Joe, are you upset about that? 
No, not much. It was good fun, wasn't yeah. it, really? It was total mayhem. And I tell you what, if you had a better robot on your team, other than that Plunderbird robot, you might have gone a little bit further, mightn't you? Yeah. Because you were doing all the work, mate, weren't you? You know? Yes. You were battering that firestorm, you battered that scorpion, and these Plunderbird guys let you down. So mm. when you get back in the pitch, don't talk to him, OK? OK. All right, it's nice to have you back, Joe. Let's hear it from Bigger Brother and Plunderbird! <laughs> You have got to be really, really relieved that these guys are on your team. You're right. They, you they... are right. We've got, we've got a good robot, but it just can't turn itself over, so we need well, some he, help. Yeah, well, that's against the rules, that, actually, as well. I don't know how you got through, but, you know... Um, yeah, I mean, you were just toasted in the end as well. Toast. That's it. Burns yeah. well, don't they? Well, Firestorm, nice, aggressive robot. That little arm as well, really right, powerful, isn't it? Isn't it? Very. Really good driving as well. I mean, is it easy to control that thing? Very easy, yeah. Well, yeah. power diff, it's really yeah. good. Well, you know, you've got them on your side, though, so you might not get much further, but let's hope you do. Let's hear it for Firestorm and Scorpion! <laughs> so you had the cutter. What happened? Tell him he couldn't drive that thing in a straight line to save his life. And tell him he could not break the weapon, even if it was a baby's rattle. Will you tell Captain Chubby he's got a big fat butt? <laughs> tell Sergeant Scrawny he's got a big nose. Oh, stop fighting. Stop it, you two, exactly. Guys, we do need to know, however, what damage you suffered to start Everything. with. Everything. Everything's dead. Is it? Yeah. It's melted, it's dead, it's broken. What else do you want to know? Spinning out, totally out your bit won't work. Is it fixable? Of course it is. Just might take a little time, that's all. Well, get to it. Looks like it needs a serious amount of work. So what do we think of the Plunderbird team now? They're um, very naughty. Naughty, aren't they? Mm. They let you down, really. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. What would you have liked them to have done a bit more of? I would have, and I would have liked to, and them to and go down at ten scratches or more. Exactly, at least ten scratches. I don't think we saw it, did we? No. But what did you do? What was good about your team? We flipped oh. and went up and burnt him and spiked him. That was Scorpion, wasn't it? Yeah. He took a right flaming, didn't he? Yeah, and we and we got some paint off from a uh, father robot. Ah. Oh. Thanks, Tom. Well, let's go over to Dad and have a look at the damage. Are you going to make it to the payoffs? Easy. Easy peasy. Easy, easy. easy peasy. We had a little, little cut, which Kieran from the Deer Tour team is welded up for us. In fact, he's doing it just now. Oh. Isn't he sweet? Yeah. So you'll be back? Well, we've got the playoffs yet, haven't we? I know. We just mm. might need a new partner, really. It's not looking good for them. No. No, sadly, his relays aren't very well. Is anyone going to lend him something? Ah. Oh. It's tactics in the pits just as much as it's tactics in the arena. Storm 2 and Scorpion into the Tag Team Terra final. Will Plunderbird 4 be OK with Bigger Brother for the third, fourth playoff against Exterminator 2 and Invertebrate or King B3 and 101, the old deadly rivals? Of all the robots in Robot Wars, I can't believe these two have paired up. It's extraordinary. The score between them so far is one all, and I thought they were sworn enemies. Mike? Well, we are in the arena, but uh, at the end of the day, we've got mutual respect for each other's robots. They've got a good robot, we've got a good robot. So we want to go and do some damage to some others now, and... Uh, but not to each other? Possibly. Ah, <laughs> we'll keep our eye on that. Simon, you're going in first, it I hear. It looks like it, yes. I'm going to um, hit him with a bit of speed, and if I can, I'm going to hit him with this saw as well, which has been up and reliable up to now, but... That's uh, why you're going in first, That's isn't why it? I'm going to go in first while it's still working, but if it is going, it's, uh, it's quite a mean little thing. Uh, it certainly wrecked my garage. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a uh, two-horsepower uh, petrol engine running that, and uh, 3,000 RPM, it's... Uh, about, Quite a thing. About 140 miles an hour. Looking to scrap some metal, we have Exterminator and Invertebrat. Let's talk tag team tactics. Well, Exterminator's job is going to be to try and take out King B. He's got thin perspex on the top, and we're going to try and smash his electronics up. OK, Peter? Yeah, uh, they're definitely better matched for King B. Invertebrat's better matched for 101. I reckon that we can take him out by having his tracks off with the bludgeoner at the back. That bludgeoner will hit you at 90 miles an hour. It's crunch time. <laughs> oh, 
From Surrey, Invertebrat. From Hartford, Exterminator 2. What weaponry power on this team? A rotating bludgeoner and pneumatic flipper, a lot of parts from scrapyards, wheelchair motors, a top speed of 10 miles an hour. It's the heavier and quicker team, an axe or flipper weapon, and a scoop bucket here, an aluminium shell, and frightening top speeds, 25 miles an hour. We're the exterminator team from Hereford. And this is Invertebrat. I once went to Hereford, which is why we decided to team up for tag. To the bait, we're bringing our weight, our speed, and our axe. And Invertebrat's bringing its bludgeoner weapon and excellent agility, which makes it really good for tag. We hope. From Hornchurch, King B3. From North Hampshire, 101. Saws and spikes for this team, a petrol-powered nine-inch circular blade here with lifting, flipping spikes. It cost £4,000 to make. This cost a pound and a penny, hence 101. Tracks from a milk-washing machine. Will Invertebrate get at them? Watch out for the 101 Spike Red team, it's frightening. Hi, we're the King Buxton team. Back again with King B3. Very fast, very sharp, pretty lethal. We're going to uh, be in a tag team here and we're going to show them who's boss, I'm, sure. I'm telling you. This is Robot 101. Fast, manoeuvrable, runs either way up. Got Amy and Bunny to help us. We're the better side. We'll help them out. I'm sure we'll get them out of a lot of trouble. Uh, no, I don't think so, actually. I think we've got the faster robot here. I think you'll find that we'll be running all over you. Uh, yeah, but I think, I think this is a bit more manoeuvrable than yours. We want a lot more battles and we're better drivers. Yeah, we yeah, don't but... need a fluffy bunny on their side. Roboteers, stand by. Invertebrate on the left, Exterminator on the right. That's the Exterminator team actually on the left there. And Invertebrate with uh, Les Wall at the controls. King B3 on the left, 101 on the right-hand side. The King B3 team controlled by Simon Harrison there on the left and Mike Franklin at the controls of 101. One. Activate. Amy Franklin, though, his nine-year-old daughter and the mascot, the Fluffy Bunny. It's Invertebrate out of the red corner. King B3 out of the blue corner. Oh, something flew off there. And I wonder what it was. As Invertebrate comes in again with a crunching challenge on King B3. And Spark's certainly flying, but I think it's the circular saw of King B3 and Simon Harrison at the controls causing all the problems here. It's a nine-inch circular saw. It's petrol powered. They tagged. Out comes 101. Oh, so is the red team. This is Exterminator with the pickaxe on the top of 101. Down it comes, trying to get perhaps in underneath the milk washing machine tracks. Well, they're abiding by the rules. Remarkably, pensive look in the control booth. This is King B3 back in the action again on Exterminator. And Exterminator, the Hereford team, seems to be the more aggressive of all these robots, capable of uh, doing most damage, or is it? Trying to get through there, the uh, shell of King B3. This is a, a tactic which knew they were, we knew they were going to employ. Oh, something's come off. Now, where has that come off? One of the competing robots, a house robot. Don't ask me. I haven't got a clue what's going on. As I said before, this is mayhem. Rules? What rules? Redbot. Dismiss him, sack him. He has no control over these robots. There's dead metal. In with a thrust on 101. Exterminator backing away to have another attack, but in comes 101 and almost underneath Exterminator there. 101 using the, the spike. Don't forget that spike travels at nearly 200 miles an hour. Invertebrate hasn't been that lively since the opening exchanges, and I wonder if the damage was done by King B3 in the initial onslaught we talked about. This is Exterminator, the most lively of the red team, certainly. Bashing on there to King B3, taking a piggyback ride, 101 around the back. Exterminator tries to get back to safety. They look on, yet yeah, Invertebrate's been immobilised. I think that's dead metal, the house robot in for the kill. So they're effectively down to one robot. 101 and King B3, and there seem to be a deal of infighting in the pits beforehand, slamming against each other. With friends like that, who needs enemies? Exterminator away. Thanks, boys, we can't see anything now. Oh, there's little Amy. At least we can see over Amy's head. Exterminator trying to avoid trouble because he's getting absolutely no help whatsoever from Invertebrate and Peter Bickle, who once visited Hereford. 
poor qualification for a tag team member. Exterminator, I think you made a poor choice with Invertebrat. Don't tell Peter unless War. I told you so. So, it's Exterminator. Oh, there's King B3 now. Under pressure from Sergeant Bash. They need to get out of trouble at 101. And the little thing again, and it's team member. Their battles have been part of Robot War's folklore. But they have two robots still fighting and fresh. And Exterminator is the lone survivor from their team. No question in my mind who won that one. Well, the rules go out the window again. I don't know if the judges will care about that, but we've got to go to the judges. Terminator was certainly aggressive, causing damage to 101, superficial, I think, but King B3 and 101 were always alive. The problem with the other team, there, Invertebrat, immobilised, playing no further part. That's why it has to be an easy decision for the judges, for me. But then I don't count. They're the clever ones. I can just about get to A, B, C, D. King B3 and 101. An easy number for me, that, actually. Both of them survived, and surely it's an easy decision. Well, the judges have made their announcement, and with Invertebrat immobilised, Exterminator didn't really stand the chance. The judges have gone for King B3 and 101! Yes! Didn't really go to plan, really. Yeah, it didn't, no. We had the weapons, we had the superior weapons, but Invertebrat lost power, we don't know why, but yeah. we were out, we couldn't help them. Yeah, I mean, the axe was going really quite well. Yeah, it was getting it was right going all right. We were a bit upset. It wasn't as powerful as we were hoping it was. And yeah. we started to lose power towards the end and air as well, so we were really stuck. But that 101's quite a powerful yeah. robot as well, isn't it? Very it powerful. just keeps on going yeah, and going and going. Yeah, it's got stacks of torque, stacks of go. Yeah. You'll come back next time, won't you? We certainly will. Are you going to be stay tag team partners? I, I think so, yeah. Oh, there you go, then. Hey, a marriage made in heaven. Let's hear it for Exterminator and Invertebrat! <laughs> yes! Yes! Definitely, yes. Well, that go according to plan, did it? Oh, yes, it's suddenly working very nicely. Thank you very much. What's it like when you're sort of, um, when you're working together as uh, two roboteers, you know, from two different teams? I mean, did you, did you sit down and plan a strategy? Well, no, we just sort of said we'd go in and mother them and... and that's what we did. 101 yeah. did seem to be doing a lot of the work. Uh, and thank that you one. very much, Mike. I don't think that's true. But you were saving yourself for the next round. I am, I am. I'll save you next time round when you're in trouble. It's Firestorm and Scorpion. Scorpion was toasted, so, you know... You know, but Firestorm's a good, powerful robot. Yeah. Firestorm's very good, but yeah. if it's got two of us on it, I don't think it's going to stand much of a chance. Oh, fight and talk. We shall yeah. see. Let's hear it for King B3 and 101. <laughs> Come on, guys. Simon, I think that was pretty impressive. It worked, didn't it? It really did work. You've gelled as a I team. I know, it's incredible, but, it, you know, it's worked out quite good, I think, yeah. Which was surprising, let's face it, with similar robots. Well, uh, I think that's because we know each other's robot really well. We know how to complement each other in a fight. Having fought each other, you know, for a couple of fights, we, we know, you know, what to do, where to go, and we, you know, we know what it's all about now. Oh. So did you enjoy it, then? Yeah, I did enjoy it. I enjoy getting it ready again in five or six minutes, which I've been told. So um, it's a bit hard going at this sort of level of... Uh, of television. Yes, it is really, isn't it? Yeah. And how's the blade working? Um, well, it was working for a bit, stalled after a while, but I've got another blade, so I'll bang that in and give it another go and see if we get another shot or something. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Why did you enjoy that? I did, it was great fun, yeah, yeah. I think we might be mates now, you know. Ah. After that, push it. Don't Mind you, know. you, I did notice you did have a little bit of a pop well, at each other. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well, we, we sort of got back to our senses and decided to go for the kill light, so. Yeah, just to add to the entertainment, yeah. really. Amy, did you enjoy that? Yes. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah. You made a great pair and uh, good luck in the final. Thank you. Thank you. So the Invertebrate team is getting ready for the playoffs. We are. We've got quite a bit to do, but uh, yeah, we're hoping to be ready. What damage did you take? Um, well, right hand wheel motor gearbox is gone. Mm, quite... Got another? Yeah, yeah, we've got yeah. another. That's yeah. all right. You'll yeah. be there. Well, we tend to be, yeah. And how did you find playing in the tag team? Oh, it's really good fun. Fantastic. Yeah. And did uh, you have any tactics? We did, but they went out the window after about two seconds, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of your partner's performance? They were great. Without them, it would have been nothing. We, we were out too much too quickly. So, yep, they were good. We let them down. Can they get their gearbox fixed in time? Invertebrate for the playoffs. King B3 and 101 will meet Firestorm 2 and Scorpion in the final of the Tag Team Terror. But the playoff is next. Exterminator. It looks like you might only have to fight one robot. Plunderbird aren't faring up too well. What about your robot? 
Uh, it's all fine. It's all been fixed. And yeah. Uh, we're yeah, everything. We'd rather right. go up against two. Yeah, it's not really fair. Two against one. It wouldn't be fair, would it? Wouldn't be fair. Now you went on second last time. That's Are right. you on first for this battle? Yeah, we're going to go on first this time. E. So Invertebrat are on second this time. Yeah, we're going to give them a chance to go in first and do something serious. We're a bit short of weapons. We're in there as a battering ram mainly, so we're just backing them up. Literally back up. Absolutely. You can't do too much damage yourselves. Don't say that now. Bit of bit of battering. We will see carnage. So are you battle ready? Well, good. Yeah, I think so. Well, I hope so. We've been a bit mullered. We've done what we can, so we'll see. Yeah. We will just have to see how it goes. What's your weak point then? The we robot. Don't, we don't. Do it. <laughs> we haven't got any weak points. <laughs> well, let's hope uh, Big Brother look out for you again. Well, Joe, at seven and a half years old, you might have to take on both those robots because your yeah. team members aren't doing very well, are they? No. What are you going to do to the other robots? I'm going to flip and do the same thing as last time. Which was what? Flip them up, spike and spike them, then and then and then flip put them in the bit. So you're the key strategist, aren't you? Yes. Well, let's hope what you say goes. Yes. While others rumble in the jungle, we get Mina in the arena. And after round one, two teams of mechanised mates have come a cropper. But for one of them, further disgrace awaits as they battle for that wooden spoon. So, let the playoff begin! <laughs> From the red zone again, invertebrate on the left, exterminator on the right hand side. There are the five boys all together. And there in the blue zone, Blunderbird four on the right, bigger brother on the left. Bigger brother team, little Joe Watts, he's seven and a half. What's he gonna be like when he's 16? Activate. Out of the red zone comes Exterminator. Invertebrate had the problems beforehand, and out of the blue zone comes Bigger Brother, Plunderbird 4, sitting back. Oh, and immediately Exterminator flipping Bigger Brother, but look at the stream at the self running mechanism up and over they come. It's little Joe at the control set. His hero is Roger the Dodger from the Beano comic, and he's dodged that one magnificently. Meanwhile, Plunderbird 4, well, we've had the hype, we've had the rap, but their team, to me, seems to be taking a nap. It's not exactly mobile. We had the problems with it before. We've seen nothing from Invertebrate there. It now comes out to help out Exterminator on its side. And using the side spikes to right itself. A magnificent technique. Great innovation from Marlon Pritchard, Paul Lewis and Simon Baldwin in that Exterminator team. It's a great battle between Exterminator and Bigger Brother. And now Exterminator goes back. The tag is effective. Out comes Invertebrate now getting into the action. So they were repaired. They are OK. Invertebrate with the pneumatic flip out. The probing, rotating bludgeoner as well. It's Invertebrate against Bigger Brother. Bigger Brother with a shot on the drive onto the arena side wall. Terrific playoff here for the wooden ratchet. The wooden spoon of Robot Wars, in other words. This is Bigger Brother on Invertebrate. You can see the bludgeoner there at one end. You can see the flipper at the other end of Invertebrate. But this, for me, is the, is the battle of this playoff between Bigger Brother there on the right and Exterminator. Oh, over on its side again. Can they write from there? Watch this, watch this. Yes, they can. Out comes the spike. Second time we've seen it in this playoff. That really is innovative. I don't think we've ever seen a robot in Robot Wars history with side spikes being used as an effective streamer. So well done to them. Exterminator in underneath Bigger Brother. Now, have they pinned them down? Have they got some sort of toehold? Let's have a look. Trying to crane my neck around to see. Down comes Bigger Brother. So, they live to fight another day. Backing away. Dodging, exterminator, shadow dancing, if you like. Shadow boxing. There's little Joe at the controls of Bigger Brother. Still, we've seen so little of Plunderbird 4. They're a great sporting team, actually, Mike Onslow and Brian Kilburn. But that's the other boys. Exterminator and Invertebrat in their control box. Little Joe peers out. There's his dad to the left-hand side. And Bigger Brother, once again, Exterminator have managed to just prize a grip. And Bigger Brother away once more. Oh, and look, the pit started to descend. Will it catch anyone here? 
exterminates the triumph on against Bigger Brother. Back to the centre, they're in, in the pit, in the pit, in the pit. That's the message. They want someone to go down. Exterminator, will it be Blunderbird 4? Largely immobilised through it. I can't believe it. Exterminator driven straight into the pit. Right on the word cease. Under pressure from Bigger Brother, and down they went. Who has won this one? Well, Bigger Brother did all the work. Invertebrate, they were virtually immobilised, and Exterminator went in the pit. Surely there could only be one result. Well. Big Up Brother 2 and Plunderbird 4 scrape some dignity off the arena floor and come third in our tag team terror. Let's hear it for Big Up Brother and Plunderbird 4! Hi, young man. Well... Oh, I know. It's a brilliant self-writing mechanism you got. You yeah. went over countless times and yeah. you flip yourself back over. That's right. The only thing that let us down is my strategy man was supposed to tell me when the pit opened and never told me. And I never noticed them straight in. You enjoy it, though? Yeah, great fun, good fight. Never mind, it was a brilliant fight. It's one of, the, it's one of my favourite fights. Yeah. Two of my favourite robots. Let's hear it for Exterminator 2 and Inverted Rat! <laughs> well, 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 little Joe. We had a word before, and you realised that Plunderbird 4 was nothing but a hindrance to you, didn't you? Yeah. So you didn't even involve them in the battle this time, did you? You did it all yeah. on yourself? Yeah. So what was your strategy going into that? I didn't know that and they, and they didn't and they broke down and we only and killed two robots without any help. I know, you killed them without any help whatsoever. Well done, Jan. <laughs> Talk me through your contribution. It was passive. <laughs> What happened? Our yeah, strategies, we were just going to play dead uh -huh. and just... I hope uh, everyone let, ignored you. ...let Ian get on with it. But, but, uh, but the whole battle came crashing into you anyway, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. We, we tried our best and um, something's gone wrong, obviously, and it just wouldn't work. What can we do? Well, you got the bronze, you got the bronze. Um, well, I know we're speaking to little Joe there, but you've got to claim most of the glory for that. How yeah. do you feel it went for you? It went well. It's Joe operates the weapon, you see. Yeah. So when we get in a position, yeah. he just goes. Whack. Yeah. Off, we, off we go. And his timing's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Spot on. Poor old Mike, though, eh? Yeah. He's Congratulations. He went all the way out there. Y you've got the bronze. Oh, just... You're third in our tag team chair. Let's hear it for Bigger Brother and Plunderbed 4! So, to the Tag Team Terror Final, Firestorm 2 and Scorpion against King B3 and 101 on the same side, or are they? Strengths and weaknesses so far. Scorpion exposed by Bigger Brother, but Firestorm too strong for Blunderbird 4. That's how they got through. Firestorm on the attack against Bigger Brother, doing enough. Blunderbird 4, the weak link. And it was Firestorm 2 and Scorpion who went through. Now, 101 and King B3 obviously don't like each other, but they've got low centres of gravity. 101 and King B3 combining together against House Robots, against Exterminator, against Invertebrat. Strong, useful, mobile team. Deft weaponry. They may well start as underdogs in the Tag Team Terra Final, but watch out for them. I think they're very dangerous. Together, against one another, against opponents, well, it all could happen in this Tag Team Terror Final. So you're all on your lonesome? We are. Where we are, are your teammates? Still working over there. The Northerners. Northerners. Yeah. Ah. Beautiful job, guys. <laughs> well, it's working partially again. But Don't say that. We're going in. We're going to win. Right, I'm going to see what's happened to your teammates. OK. The Firestorm team looking like they're still in trouble. What's happening? <laughs> Rebuilding it. <laughs> <laughs> Rebuilding it from scratch. Yes, at the very last minute. You haven't got long. Let no. me tell you, there's an audience hungry for you <laughs> out there. Uh, I'll give you uh, five seconds. As long as that? Uh, <laughs> change it to about an hour and we, we're all right. No, no, no. Five seconds, boys. We need you. That's not what we can do. Amy, what were you telling these boys earlier? I was telling them to stop fighting because they weren't getting on. But are they getting on now? Yes. They are, aren't they? You've gelled as a team. I think so, yeah. Yeah, coming yeah. together as a team, it would be quite a strong team now. Yeah, we're you're going, focused. We're going to win now. 
fighting right. talk and how the robots faring up. Yeah, I think they're both right. We've sort of give each a round to get them ready and uh, we're going for it. So you're confident? Yeah. Are you united on. team? Yeah, right on, yeah. Well, let's see it. Yeah. Let's do some damage. Come on, in we go. Alrighty, it's time for the big one. Two of our teams have struck up a winning partnership, but only one of them can be crowned our Tag Team Terror Champions. So prepare to find the Bonnie and Clyde of Robot Wars as we let the final begin! <laughs> From the red zone, Scorpion on the left, Firestorm 2 on the right-hand side. The team controlling flippers, chainsaws, heavier robots. There on the left-hand side is King B3, 101 on the right-hand side. And good to see that Amy, at nine years of age, has more sense than most Roboteers put together. Mind you, she acted as a peacemaker. Do we like peace in Robot Wars? No. In the Tag Team Terror, which I think has been a magnificent success, we like destruction and rows and rumbles and tumbles and mayhem. And this is Scorpion back towards the red zone and safety can tag. Under pressure from King B3, very mobile, very quick across the arena floor. Low centre of gravity on the drive against Scorpion into the flames. And we know that is an Achilles heel for Scorpion. Look at this power from King B3. Slamming against the inner wall. There's the flame licking out. Scorpion will want to stay away from the flame pit and from the arena. Side jets of flame and smoke and destruction. Scorpion, one eye patched up, it would seem, and King B3, 101 awaiting back in the tag zone. And at the moment, uh, both teams showing remarkable restraint. Firestorm was there to the left of your picture moments ago. Back on the attack again on Scorpion comes King B3 with a nine-inch circular saw. Lifting and flipping spikes. Scorpion has the electrically powered chainsaw, but it looks limp. It's hanging there, useless. It doesn't seem to be working. He said, I can't see the teeth of the chainsaw moving. There's the ref bot to have a little glance. And they tagged, have they? No, Scorpion's allowed it. Firestorm wanted to come out. But the Blues have tagged 101's in there. And King V3, and all of a sudden, we've got all four robots on the arena floor. Yes, this is what we want. Scorpion may have gone blind, and they've shown a blind eye to rules and regulations! It's gone mad in Robot Wars Tag Team Terror! They're all in there now, trying to destroy! This is King B3, up on 101. You are team members. Come together, friends. You're having a laugh. You're still enemies, I'm sure, down in the pitch. Amy, sort them out. There's your dad, Mike. There's the teammate Simon Harrison, Tony Sharp in there, that's Scorpion now under pressure from Dead Metal with a slice and dice. I repeat, you are supposed to be team members 101 and King B3. Scorpion at the moment is under no sort of pressure. I think Firestorm 2 is out of it completely back in the red zone. There's, there's Mike Franklin at the controls of 101. Scorpion pressurized by King B3 and 101 wants to destroy them all. What next? Dead metal bash, take them all on, Mike Franklin and young Amy. Why not? Bash will want a piece of you, though. I think the tag team terror has been won by 101 and King B3 because Firestorm 2 is doing nothing. Scorpion, can they withstand all sorts of pressure? Look, they're tattered and torn, and with Firestorm 2, they're out of it. And now we have what I thought we'd have right from the first Clapson. The first activate. We've got 101 against King B3, and this is a massive grudge. They're supposed to be on the same tag team. Scorpion's out of it. The house robots come in. You want to get a grudge match sorted amongst yourselves, team members? No. We'll have a little piece of you as well. Says Dead Metal on King B3. In the pincers, 101 under pressure from Bash. They've won this tag team terror, of course, but now we want retribution. You should have been friends and teammates. You should have kept the peace. You haven't. And this is our own version of a peace summit. Into the depths of the pit, if we can get you in there. Summits, we don't like them. We like the pits. We like destruction. We end up the victors. We have the last laugh. We are Robot Wars. This was the Tag Team Terror, and well done 101 and King B3, because you were victorious in it. Well, 
with Firestorm immobilized, it's obvious that King B3 and 101 are our new tag team terror champions. Come on, guys. Well, the Scorpion didn't appear to have a sting in his tail. No, not this time, but we got her back, we got her out, and she went the distance. Yeah, you suffered a lot of fire damage in the first fight. We... I can't believe you repaired it in time. Well, the man we've got to thank is standing in the doorway over there. What happened to Firestorm? Oh, we had a bit of damage from the last fight. Um, we've tried our best to try and fix it, but same lost power at the end there, so couldn't really do anything. Couldn't Never get mind. going. Good effort. Never mind. Try again next time. Thank we'll you. We'll be Let's back. hear it for Firestorm and Scorpion! <laughs> yeah! So we've won something, yeah. you know, what, between us. Yeah. What is going on with you two, though? OK, you, you, you dismantle the other two robots, and then what do you do? You get a little bit bored well, and we, start fighting each other. I think we're dying to just, just sort it out once yeah. and for all. You know, between us two, we, one day it's, we're going to sort it out. Well, you've had grudge matches before, haven't you? So, but yeah. How come you've chosen the same team if there's that much sort of animosity we, between the two robots? Uh, we know each other's robots really well. It's, you know, it's a good team, you know, because, you know, we fought each other. Yeah. And we, we know each other's strengths, and that's why we're a good team and we'll carry on but we just can't we can't resist having a little bit of a go at each other every now and again look i don't know how i'm going to do this i don't know if you're going to fight over it yeah, or what but here you go here's your trophy you are our new tag team terror champions yes well apparently it's singles like the robot arms so we're going to nip down there and find some more perfect partners but remember if your partner's not scared of circular sores team up and go mental on Robot Wars. Bye-bye. <laughs>